David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another stay-at-home pen review. Today, or at least the day I'm posting this video, is National Ballpoint Pen Day. And as it would happen, Tactile Turn has chosen this day to launch their latest innovative rollerball pen called the SideClick. So I felt it was appropriate to take a look at it. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Tactile Turn SideClick, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, I'll show some size comparisons and a writing sample. And stay tuned because I will be giving away one of these pens courtesy of the good folks at Tactile Turn who have provided these pens for review and for giveaway. I say this each time I review a non-fountain pen, but there are situations where the best tool to use is a ballpoint or a rollerball. I have several that I enjoy and use on a regular basis, a few of which are from Tactile Turn. Uh, if you're not familiar with the company, it's run by a gentleman by the name of Will Hodges. Uh, Will's shop is located just north of Dallas, Texas. Over the last few years, he's launched a number of pens, both fountain and non-fountain, and today he's releasing another innovative design called the aforementioned SideClick. Uh, it arrives in this box, and inside there is a small metal box, and inside that we have the pen. This is the side click. Uh, the pen comes in three different sizes and four materials. Uh, this one here is the standard size. Uh, you can see here the three different sizes. There is the standard, short, and mini. Uh, the four different materials are titanium, copper, bronze, and zirconium. Now, here, right here, is a short model in copper, which you can see is slightly smaller. Let me line up the bottoms and you can see it's slightly smaller here. Uh, now, copper is a heavier metal than titanium, so even though this copper pen is smaller, it's heavier than the larger titanium model. Uh, the standard titanium model comes in at 36 grams, and the copper short model comes in at 58 grams. Uh, the copper, bronze, and zirconium models are uh, fairly similar in weight, so they'll be heavier than the titanium models. Uh, I'm going to set this one aside here just for a second so we can take a closer look at this titanium model. Uh, let's take a closer look at the end. Uh, the knock is titanium as well. I like that it has a more unpolished look, and I like that the edge of the barrel is rounded off a little bit as well. Uh, then we have the clip, which I feel is pretty cool. Uh, it's wide and rather rigid, but functional. Uh, on the top of the clip, there are two screws. When he was designing this model, Will wasn't pleased with any of the screws he found, so he created his own. So these are custom screws. Then on the underside of the clip, it is engraved with tactile turn and the year this pen was manufactured. I like having a little surprise under the clip, as well as knowing when a pen was manufactured. And while the year 2020 has been a bit of a dumpster fire, uh, this pen certainly is not. Uh, for a nominal fee, you could actually have the top of the clip engraved as well. Uh, this is something that they offer that I feel is pretty cool. Um, you can have the uh, text facing either direction, so that if you are right-handed or left-handed, you can have the text be in the correct orientation, so when you look down, you can read it correctly. Uh, a distinctive feature of any tactile turn pen is the exterior groove that extends the length of the barrel. And I say groove because it's just that. It's a single groove, like on a record. Uh, it helps provide an excellent grip on the section. And I really like the feeling of it against the side of my palm when writing. Uh, I do find myself kind of rubbing a finger or thumb across the uh, barrel when it's in my hand. Uh, it's a unique and uh, tactile feeling. Uh, also, the groove does a good job of hiding the transition from the barrel to the section. Uh, here's a close-up picture. Uh, I challenge you to spot the transition. It's virtually invisible. Okay, let's get to the namesake of this pen, the side click. Uh, in order to extend the pen, you depress the knock. And this is what the end of the pen looks like. I do like that the end is a little bit inset as opposed to flat. And then this is what it looks like with the tip extended. Uh, but in order to retract it, you utilize this button here on the side, you press it, 
and it pops back up. Uh, while there have been other pens that have utilized this type of mechanism, Will claims that this is the first to use all metal parts to accomplish it. Uh, it's just cool, and I do find myself playing with it a great deal. Uh, between the grooves as well as this mechanism, uh, this pen is a bit of a fidget toy for me. Uh, I do care for the size of this standard model. It fits well in my hand, and as I mentioned earlier, I like the feeling of the grooves against my hand. Uh, I feel this pen is very well balanced and comfortable to use. Now, personally, I do care for heavy pens, but I think a copper or brass model in this length is going to have a fair amount of heft to it. Uh, I do like the combination of size and weight of this standard titanium model. Uh, this pen does use Pilot G2 refills. I do care a lot for that gel ink a great deal. I prefer it to ballpoints. Uh, in regard to pricing, it is the same price for all three sizes, the standard, short, and mini. For the titanium, copper, and bronze, the price is $99, and for the zirconium, it is $249. Uh, the zirconium is just a much more expensive metal. I have an example of what that material looks like, and I'll show that to you during the size comparisons. Uh, then, if you look right here, there as an option, there is a titanium Damascus clip that's available for an additional price as well. That thing just looks incredible. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out these pens on the Tactile Turn site. Uh, in regard to a giveaway, I have this copper short model here ready to go to one of you. Uh, if you would care to win this very pen, courtesy of Tactile Turn, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment in the notes below this video. Uh, if you currently are not a subscriber, all you need to do is click the button to subscribe in the lower right hand portion of the screen, then leave your comment and you are good to go. Uh, in regard to a comment suggestion, since this is National Ballpoint Day, why don't you let me know what your favorite non-fountain pen is. Uh, 72 hours after posting this video, I will select a winner at random from everyone who has left a comment and reply to that comment, letting the winner know what to do in order to claim their prize. Uh, you can leave multiple comments, but it will only count as a single entry into the contest. Now, I used to run all of my contests this way, but I ran into issues where w winners wouldn't get in contact with me. I think that's because they didn't notice their notifications that someone had replied to their comment. I'm going to give this one more try to see how it goes again. Uh, but if you enter, you have to promise to pay attention to your comment reply notifications. Uh, it's a lot easier to do a contest this way, but I also want the prize to go to the first winner as opposed to having to select uh, two or three or four winners until someone finally replies. So don't let me down. Okay, for some measurements and a writing sample, please join me over here at camera two. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Tactile Turn Side Click. Uh, here it is with the copper version. This one is the standard and this one is the small. Uh, and then here it is with a Tactile Turn Gist, which is a fountain pen. Uh, and then here it is with, uh, this is the zirconium model. Now this is a zirconium model on one of the bolt action pens, uh, and it just kind of looks a little black, but it is kind of a metallic black and a very cool material. But yeah, the zirconium is a much more expensive material, which is why it is a significantly more expensive pen. In regard to some other size comparisons, here it is with a Sailor 1911 Large, uh, then this is a Sailor Pro Gear, and then finally one more bolt action pen from Tactile Turn that I really love. Uh, this is a bolt action that is made out of Damascus, and you can just see the coloring here on the section is just incredibly cool. I love that. And then also another cool feature is you can see the Damascus here on the bolt itself, which is really, really neat nice and I like that a lot and I use this ball pen a great deal. In regard to a writing sample we have the tactile turn side click. Uh, this does take a pilot G2 cartridge. Uh, and the G2 cartridges are some of my favorite. I really like the smoothness. Uh, it's very smooth and very easy to use and I do enjoy those. In regard to the rest of the writing sample, Uh, 
again, very, very smooth, and I like these refills. Uh, and in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue whatsoever. So there we have the tactile turn side click. Uh, then this is the copper version that you could win uh, if you subscribe to this channel as well as leave a comment in the notes below. So good luck to everyone on entering. Um, I'm very encouraged by this particular pen. I think it's very innovative. I love this uh, side click design and I'm anxious to see how well this does for tactile turn because I think it's a quality writing device. Uh, until next time, Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.